after a decade of battling with my acne, Kin is now clear without taking contraceptive pills. I stopped using contraceptive pills for more than two years now. Last year, I discovered this um combination of skincare. After just a month, my skin cleared up. This is not sponsored video, guys. I just want to help you. So, if you want to know how I did it, just keep on watching. Disclaimer, guys. I have uber oily skin. My skin is durable from strong acne ingredients. Do not use them all together for the first time. Use products one by one depending on how your skin reacts. Please be careful. We all have different skin types. Strong type of skincare may damage your skin. Please be responsible. You know your skin better than me. Always do a skin test. So let's start. As you can see, my face is a bit damp. My hair is a bit wet because I just washed my face. There's no much difference between my nighttime and my daily skincare routine. I will just show it to you later. So first, I wash my face with this. This is um, from the Body Shop. Tea tree oil, 3 in 1 wash, scrub, and mask. So you can feel that your face is really cleansed. It's exfoliating. Plus, it can help your breakouts to heal if you will use this as a mask. Like, what I'm doing with this is I will just lather to my face. I will exfoliate it. I'm just, like, scrubbing it for, like, about a minute. And then after that, I will leave that to my face. I will just use it, it as a mask because this is a bit pricey. I think this is for 895 pesos. But, guys, it's worth it. I promise it's worth it. And then I'm using this as a mask also to help heal my breakouts, my pimples. So, as you can see, guys, my skin is super clear now and then guys this clean and clear foaming facial wash this is optional i am just using this facial wash if i need to remove some makeup especially if i have eyeliner because whenever i'm using the tea tree oil scrub i am avoiding my eye area to prevent small beads from going inside my eyes and then after that this is optional but i'm still using this because i'm paranoid i want my face to be fully cleaned so this is a maxi peep i've been using this for more than more than 15 years now clean the mycin guys acresil 300 so this is how it looks like what I'm doing with this, guys, is I will get one capsule of clindamycin. I will open it. I will put only the powder and shake it. This is optional as I like to always double cleanse. This also helps my skin from getting too oily. It helps dry out my pimples faster. I have been using clindamycin powder and toner for more than 20 years now, I think. As you guys can see, I am massaging it gently all over my face, down to my neck, and at the back of my neck up to my ears. After that, I feel really fresh and clean. Zero. So this is more important than this one. I also mixed clindamycin 300mg with this, but I think if you want to like heal your breakouts, don't use them all together. It's because I know my skin, I tested them already. Like... For example, use this one first. If it, if you think it's still not enough, then that's the time you need to add this. Something like that. And if still not enough, then add this. It's just like that. Don't use them all together. The same process with Maxipil Facial Cleanser, guys. I will just put the powder of clintamycin capsule inside the bottle of this Maxipil Zero. Guys, just a reminder. My skin is intensively oily. Please don't use them all together for the first time. It's better to test this on your skin one by one first. And don't forget to always have a backup moisturizer just in case you feel like your skin is drying out in a bad way to avoid irritation. When I say drying out in a bad way, you must know the difference between drying up to pimples and irritated skin. I am applying this only on my whole face because I feel like it's too strong for the skin of my neck. Just apply gently guys. Do not rub this on your face. Then I will apply this tea tree oil. This is undiluted guys. Please make sure that you will buy on a legit store. I will just link below all the products. Guys, be careful of using this as some says that it burned their skin this is undiluted means it's pure 
You can also use the Body Shop brand, but it's expensive. This one costs more or less like 300 pesos only, and it will last you a year. This tea tree oil helps dry out my pimples faster while protecting my skin from irritation before putting an exfoliant cream. This serves as a protective barrier. But guys, again, be careful. Please do skin test first as we have different skin types. Next guys is it's either I will put Brilliant Skin Exfoliant Cream or this Body Shop Tea Tree Stick or just any mild moisturizer. This method is a bit tricky as you need to feel what your skin needs at the moment. Whenever I have a lot of breakouts or it's nighttime, I will use the Brilliant Skin Exfoliant Solution. So I will wake up in the morning with dry pimples. This tea tree oil stick, I am using this during the day. This acts as a primer, moisturizer, and pimple healer in one. This Neutrogena uh, moisturizer, I use this if my skin is a bit inflamed from exfoliant cream as this soothes and heals my dry skin. You can use other mild and cheaper moisturizer. I'm just using this as my skin is too sensitive. By the way guys, I also use this as an eye cream instead of me buying a separate eye cream. I will just use this. This is enough for me already but it's up to you if you still want to use a separate eye cream. The last step for my skincare is it's either I will use soup in powder or a regular BB powder. I use them so I will feel comfortable during the day or even while sleeping. Souping powder is a powder in skincare in one, but it's hard to find this here as this is from Japan. So I only use this if I will go out and I don't like to put makeup. Most of the time I use baby powder as it does the job as the souping powder. It helps protect my skin, also makes me feel comfortable. Next guys, I will still use eyebrow pencil, eyeliner, and lip balm at home. I just don't use foundation at home as I prefer baby powder to avoid breakouts. But for this video, I will try new products of makeup. First is this blonde shade of eyebrow pencil. This has Pooley on the other end which is good but I'm a bit disappointed because the shade name is blonde but still dark shade. Next is this eyeliner. It's good but I can say the Caroline eyeliner is twice better than this one. I just put eye makeup just to look presentable even at home while treating my acne prone skin. Next is this pen type concealer. I'm so excited when I order this but I'm a bit disappointed also as it is not smooth as I expected but it's okay, still do its job. Then this one, I can say this is my favorite, a white glitter eyeliner. Makes me feel kawaii, make my eyes pop. Then I will put lip gloss or lip balm just to keep my lips moisturized. And I think that's it for now guys. I hope you find this video helpful for you. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you will be notified every time I upload a new video. So thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video. Bye!